Chris, a few days after the uh, the Bradford game, just uh, just wanted to get your reflections on on that that performance. Um, disappointing with the result, to be fair. Um, we don't like to lose at home. We haven't done that too often this year. So disappointing to lose, but personally, I'm happy to be back. My first game back after 11 weeks out. So uh, found it tough in parts of that game, um, but it'll do me well going into next week. Yeah, 11 weeks out. Obviously, I think you were waiting a while on the operation, weren't you? And and to get back in there, how good did it feel to, to walk out? Yeah, especially with my kids there as well, um, walking out. Um, I said that's been a long time waiting for that operation. Um, very quick recovery for myself um, after that with the help from the physio staff here. Um, so all I wanted to do was get back out playing. I don't like sitting up stands watching, it's been a long time. Yeah, and it's obviously it was a game against your former club, uh, the full Monty game as well, it was billed and a bit of a surprise for you and the players before with the, with the kit, uh, not something you knew about. It was a surprise, yeah. We're watching the change rooms and the, the change room was all white, um, which is a surprise, you've seen it all red. Um, but it's a very nice kit, isn't it? And um, I'd love to say one of them on, Mark. Uh, obviously a tight game and, and that's something that we're going to be expecting towards uh, towards this playoff series. Um, what, what what do you think the, the team could do to get to get on the right side of that result that they didn't possibly do this uh, weekend? They are all going to be close games and that at the weekend felt like a playoff game, the, the intensity of it and the, the close scoreline. Um, tries was hard to come by and that, that's what it's like in them type of games. So for us to, to get over the line in them games, it's, I think it's keeping all of the ball a bit better. Um, we didn't complete, uh, well, the end of our sets was, was pretty poor sometimes and you know I think we threw the ball in touch twice coming out of our own end. And, and we gifted them a try as well, like on our own try line and you can't do them in, in playoff games. Obviously, we know all about London and what what test they can provide. You know, we were only a few weeks back that they came to the OLP and, and did actually get the win. So, uh, and, a, and a close game as well uh, up at uh, up at the uh, down at London. Sorry, uh, earlier this season. So it's it's a game we know is going to be a tough one. Uh, they're one of the fittest teams and probably one of the form teams in the division as well. They are, like you just said, they've, they've won a lot of the the games coming into this back end of the season. And that's why they're the the surge they have and they're forced away into the playoffs. So probably, as you said, they are the form team and. But, you know, we, we back ourselves here at OLP against anyone. Um, we, ran, we ran them close down at their place. Like you just said, we came over a narrow victory there and they beat us down here. So um, I believe we all won for beating us here. And we spoke to Tubbs about uh, the whole atmosphere of Sunday and you know, I think there were just under 2,000 in uh, a record crowd at OLP as well. So how important is it to build on that and, and get a big crowd in uh, the, uh, this weekend's game? Yeah, it's massive um, and we can really sense it out there, the, the atmosphere, the fans and you're just looking around everywhere, all sides of the pitch, and there's people all over with flags and cheering and shouting. So it's massive for us as, as players. We, we do recognise it and uh, appreciate it. And the more we can get down here and support the boys, the better it is for us.